Hi, my name's Maddox, I'm a nail artist, and today we're gonna be painting some super cool Trolls nails. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite character from Trolls is Mr. Dinkle, so that's who I'm gonna paint first. I always like to start with the outline, that way I can make sure that all my proportions are correct and Mr. Dinkle's doesn't accidentally come out with like a giant head or something. Okay, now that I have his eyes and mouth in place, I'm gonna start blending out the rest of him with some lights and darks to really make everything pop. This character is just so cute, he immediately stole my heart with that little like meep sound he makes in the movie. It's just my favorite. Now I know Mr. Dinkles has glittery eyes and I haven't put glitter on them yet because I wasn't exactly sure which glitter I should use. I have literally 50 different colors of glitter in my nail art studio because it's my favorite thing in the world. So I actually ended up mixing my own little potion of glitters to get the perfect Mr. Dinkles effect. Ooh, he turned out so good. Okay, let's do another character. How about we try Queen Poppy? Cause she's pink and pink is my favorite color. Just like with Mr. Dinkles, I'm gonna start with an outline because this character is very complicated and we need to have a good plan in place. Once I have my basic sketch down, I like to start on the facial features because those are really difficult and I want to get them out of the way first. Look how thin that smile line is. Ooh, it was so hard to keep my hand steady. I feel like if I was in the movie Trolls, I would probably be this character. I just love Queen Poppy. And we like all the same things, butterflies, glitter, rainbows, sparkles, unicorns probably. I bet she likes unicorns. Poppy's all done, so let's move on to another character and I think I'm gonna paint Branch. Cause that would be weird to have Poppy without Branch since they're best friends and their personality is totally complete each other. I decided to paint Branch before he finds his inner troll and embraces his true color, so I'm gonna use a little bit more of a muted palette, and I think that will be a really nice contrast to Poppy, who we know is very bright and colorful. One of my favorite things about this movie was how the troll's hair had, like, magical powers. They could pick stuff up with it, use it to swing from trees. I mean, so cool. I wish I could do that. So Branch is almost done, and I feel like for the next character, we should do someone from the second movie. And as I already told you guys, I love glitter, so I think I'm gonna have to do Tiny Diamond. And he has the coolest sunglasses and I really want to paint those. So let's see if we can do it. Now I know Tiny Diamond is made of glitter, but glitter nail polish is kind of weird to work with. So I think I'm going to do like a layer of blue all over him and then put the glitter on at the end. I hope my plan works. I know I said earlier that if I was a troll, I'd definitely be Queen Poppy. But if I got to pick, I would pick Tiny Diamond. Cause he has a never ending supply of glitter. That's like a dream come true for me. Also he's a rapper and hip hop music is my favorite genre. So I think I'd have a lot of fun as Tiny Diamond. I'm going to start adding a little definition to his hair and then use this teensy tiny brush to add some sparkles. To finish up, I just want to do a little more shading on the body because I really want it to look like Tiny Diamond is jumping off the nail. And even though I wasn't so sure about the glitter effect, I'm glad I stuck with it because I think it turned out really well. It's Tiny Diamond on a tiny nail. Okay, that's four nails down, one to go. And for the last painting, I really wanted to do something inspired by music and concert lights. And of course, rainbows. Obviously, always rainbows. I want this nail to feel like you're right in the middle of an epic troll party. I used some special neon polish to create these overlapping beams of light. And then I wanted to wrap everything up with some musical notes. Cause we all know you can't have a party without great music. But it felt kind of wrong to leave them white when I have the opportunity to use glitter. So of course I did that. Sealing it all in with a top coat. And wow, look at these nails. Which troll is your favorite? I think mine is probably Tiny Diamond. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next nail art video.